Tonight we're going to do a focusing meditation. Where do you need to be to see this? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk you through uh, the relaxation part and then I'm going to ask you to go ahead and get into that space, right? Because this is about focus and lots of people who are meditators need a little help focusing. This is not to say that there's anything wrong with you or that you're doing anything wrong or anything like that. That's not what this is, right? It's just that we live, I think, you know, it's funny with ADD as a thing. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> uh, with ADD as, as such a prevalent diagnosis, it, it occurs to me that so many people have that diagnosis that it's, uh, that it's one of those things where is it actually a disorder if so many of us have this as an issue? Is it actually something that's so out of the norm? And I'm not sure it is. Not to not to uh, make light of it at all, but, but I think that we live in such a hyper-stimulated world where there's stuff going on every second coming at you constantly that I think that there are times when we, you know, when we can't focus, when we have a lot of trouble with it. So this meditation today is designed very specifically to help you with that. It's designed to help you with uh, with achieving focus. So what we're going to do, instead of, instead of um, spending time today with our eyes closed, we're going to use a focusing tool. And the focusing tool is this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to go ahead and sit down comfortably. Make sure that your back is nice and straight. Roll your shoulders back and down. Put your hands on your knees or on your thighs and just relax, right? That's all we want to do. We just want to relax. We don't want to do anything too arduous with this because what this is going to be is it's going to be a, a sort of a lesson in focus. And it can be hard because you start thinking of, oh, and I have the shopping to do and oh, and I have to do this and oh, and I have to do that. And that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's that you're trying to meditate, but instead you're like dealing with your shopping list and the fact that you need to empty the dishwasher and you have to clean the cat box or, or whatever. So it's hard to get to that space. And that's why it's like, I, they call it a disorder, but I think, I think with so many things vying for our attention, it's hard to stay focused. It really is. And so this is designed to help you with that. What I'm going to ask you to do, and I keep thinking I should be able to lift this up even higher. Maybe I'll try one more, one more thing to try and, and get, get this a little, little bit higher so that it's not quite as, um, you don't have to look quite so far down to see this. And if you want to do this on your own and get a little, a little candle for yourself, that's cool too. You're welcome to do that. This is just so that, so that you have uh, something to focus on. So we are sitting, our feet are flat on the floor. Knees are bent, thighs are on the chair, our back is nice and straight but not too straight, shoulders are rolled back and down, and I want you to focus on your breath. And as always, we're going to start with an inhale for a count of three. One, two, three. Exhale for a count of three. One, two, three. Inhale. Two, three. Exhale. Two, three. Inhale three, exhale, one, two, three. Now this time we're going to deepen it to four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold your breath, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold your breath, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, Four, hold your breath. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Now in that state, just go back to breathing normally. The thing that you're going to do right now is I'm going to light this candle and it's going to be your focusing tool. That's what it's here for. It's to help you focus on the meditation. And the meditation is really simple. Today, I'm going to just ask you to, and in fact, I just need this little thingy too. It's funny how I didn't, I don't have it. I'm going to ask you to pay attention 
to the candle flame. And that's it. And here's the thing. Every once in a while, you might notice yourself that your thoughts start going, oh, and I wanted to do this, and oh, this TV show's on tonight, and oh, I wanted to make sure that I got this done. And if you do notice that, when you notice it, turn right around and come right back to looking at the flame. That is your mission, because all you're doing is focusing on an object. Sometimes we focus on our breath. We might focus on the candle flame. We might focus on a uh, water, a fountain, you know, people have those little, those little uh, sort of electric fountains in their offices for chilling out. That's what that's for. It's to focus on something singularly that will allow you to free yourself up from whatever concerns you have just so that you can have that practice in focusing. So periodically, if you notice, put your attention back. But periodically, I'm also over the next few minutes just going to go, and you're going to hear that and I want you to pay attention when you hear that I want you to go oh what was I paying attention to was I paying attention to the candle flame or was I thinking about something else and if you were thinking about your something else rededicate to the candle flame so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to light the candle and your mission should you choose to accept it is to just look the candle flame. That's all you're doing. And in fact, hopefully the lights are down or at least close to down so, sh so the candle flame is easy to see. And all you want to do is focus in right on that flame. Keep breathing naturally. You don't need to do anything else right now. You might notice that as I speak, my breath is moving the flame. You can watch it dance. Just focus on the flame. For the next few breaths, I'll stay silent. You just focus on the flame. If your attention went elsewhere for a minute, rededicate to the flame. Don't judge yourself. Don't think about what you were thinking about. Just focus back on the flame. And if you hear the sound of the gong and you were thinking of something other than focusing on the flame, rededicate back to the flame. This is how we build focus. We build our ability to meditate and focus by focusing and by not judging ourselves if we go elsewhere.
and bring your awareness back to the here and now. When you take this exercise on and you begin to use the candle or something else to focus on, it's good to have something like the, the little Tibetan singing bowl that I was using to make the sound to bring you back. But in case you don't want to be also playing the Tibetan singing bowl while you're trying to focus, there's a lovely app. I don't know if they have it for the Android, but let me tell you what it is for the, uh, for the iPhone. It's called Interval Timer, and you can set it up to give you intervals of a uh, certain, certain number of seconds or a certain number of minutes. So you can go, for example, I use it for exercising also, but you can go, okay, I want you to ring every 15 seconds or every 30 seconds for a period of 10 minutes. And it will do that, and it'll give you a little gong or a little bell or something like that that will allow you to get into that space of, I'm watching the candle and my thoughts might wander and it's okay if they wander, it's what happens. But then that little bell goes off or the little gong goes off and it reminds me to come right back and refocus. And what you can do is you can elongate, you can lengthen the amount of time you take to, uh, to play the bell, right? So you, you might start every 15 seconds just to go, yes, I'm refocusing on the candle. Yes, I'm refocusing on the candle or a fountain or whatever. Choose, choose something that you like. I like candles because they're moving a little and you can sort of see the blue at the bottom of the flame. And I don't know if there's, if it's, if it's at all possible for you to see the blue at the bottom. Of, yeah, you can. Look at that. You can totally see it. See how there's a blue at the bottom of the flame there? That's what we want to be able to look at, you know, seeing seeing both sort of the the yellow and the and sometimes if the if the wick is long, you can see the very, very red tip of the flame. So so focusing in on the different parts of the flame, I've done long meditations where I where I play with what part of the flame I'm looking at. And it helps with the focus. And once you get good at every 15 seconds being reminded then you move to every 20 seconds or maybe every 16 seconds, whatever works for you, until you get to the point where maybe it's only once a minute and then maybe only once every two minutes so that you can just keep uh, elongating the amount of time that you're focusing and then you, you get reminders, but in the meantime, you're building the skill. Remember, this whole week I'm doing, and maybe next week too, because there are actually a lot of different types of meditation styles, but this whole week I'm doing a survey of different kinds of meditation styles to get you sort of uh, a little bit of experience looking at some of the different ones to see which one works for you. This one works really well for me because I do have 45,000 things going on in my head at once. So this just makes me go whew, right, right into that spot of where am I, where do I need to be.